Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Skyrim. The Skyrim Let's Play starring our Khajiit monk slashy McStabby and her crew of adventurers who are around here. There's Anigo. That's Lydia. I've got your back. <clears throat> Thanks. And up You're here is us somewhere Karjo and us. Serana and Hilda the Pack Goat. Oh, come on. Thank you, buddy. Okay, we're going into Blackreach. Buckle up. I hope you're all ready for this. How is everybody today? I hope you're having a great day. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that was it. I only got one chance, huh? I only got one shot. Hopefully whatever that thing is... is wounded now? Oh boy, I hate sneaking. Oh, it's one of those. It didn't get killed, huh? Oh, it did get hurt, though. What is it? Oh! It's on my guys. Permanently retired. Oh, it's a good thing I have so many followers. Oh, to carry stuff for me. <gasps> mushrooms! Okay, so this place isn't all bad. Ooh, look at those mushrooms! Those are ginormous mushrooms. And what's this? It's nerd root, but it's red. Crimson nerd root. Okay. I know it's nerd root. There was a video where I explained. If, in case you don't remember, just in case, discover the significance of crimson nerd root. Uh, just in case you don't remember or you didn't see that episode, I was reviewing one of my videos for making things better purposes and the subtitles, Cinderian's Field Laboratory? Where is this quest? Here it is. Sindarian's Field Laboratory. Okay, it says go in there, so we're gonna go in there. Um, anyway, the subtitles, they try, bless them, but they called Nern Root I mean, I don't blame them. There's not a word for it. Uh, it's not a word that it would commonly come across, but it called it nerd root, like N-E-R-D. So I've been calling it nerd root ever since. And no one gets the joke but me. Regular nerd root. Looks 
like these Falmer are here to stay. Is that fire salts? Yes! Yes, we only need one more fire salt. And our alchemy has increased to 22. Right, we gotta take this book with us. Oh, I should do short. Oh my gosh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. I could read the books as shorts. I'm not saying that's gonna happen tomorrow or anything. And maybe nobody would like that. I don't know. I just want to read the books. <laughs> but I don't want to take the time out of the episode to do it. Oh, here's Sundarian. And here's his field journal. My foot is jiggling and I really hope that you can't hear it. Okay. Transcribe the lexicon. Okay, let's read his field journal, though. That we do need to read. Oh. My. Gosh. I was to it and I did it again when I took my thumb off of the thumbstick. Okay. Okay. I didn't cry. <laughs> that was dramatic. No, I'm no, I'm just kidding. I'm okay. Sindarian's Field Journal. Collect Crimson Nurn Root, we know that. Fourth Era, 58, Second Seed, Midas. I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Nurn Root, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The trilling sound this strange herb emits seems to taunt me, to push me even harder to discover its secrets. Even after a generous and indomitable traveler became a field collector in my stead and provided me with five score of the Nurn Root, I was only able to muster what I could a mediocre alchemical creation at best. Alchemical creation at best. There we go. This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over 50 years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Weald Inn. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone, that unmistakable warble unique to the Nern root. But when I turned around, my heart leapt and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Nern root, but of a variety of the likes of which I have never seen. The herb was a wash in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable variations of crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Nern root with such a unique property. It's red, dude. It's red. 
After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions to the traveler who'd brought me this treasure. He told me his name was Obeth Arnesian, a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently, he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach, and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want to leave the cave empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Nernroot to bring home. He said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, Obeth offered to sell me the Crimson Nernroot sample, a map showing me how to find Blackreach, and the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to decide. Obeth left Skingrad a thousand septims richer, but I would have easily paid ten times that amount to be able to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim. Before delving headfirst into Blackreach, I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, but wished to do so in seclusion. After making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, of which I was an honorary member, I was distracted, directed to speak to Avrusa Sarethi, a student of botanical alchemy who had a small farm near the city of Riften. By bartering my knowledge of Nernroot cultivation, I was able to secure Sarethi Farm as a launching point for my field research. I think that's the place we need to take the Nernroot. I kept the knowledge of the Crimson Nernroot a secret from Avrusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her in exchange for her hospitality. A few months passed, but I was finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used the attunement sphere that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough crimson nern root to produce my greatest alchemical creation to date. I was certain it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. This brings me to the present. My initial research seems to indicate that the Crimson Nernroot has a similar affinity for moisture as the garden variety, but also maintains some sort of symbiotic relationship with the enormous fungi that inhabits Blackreach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water, absorbing it from the moist subterranean air like a sponge. This provides the ideal environment for the Nernroot to grow. Unfortunately, the Crimson Nernroot appears to have a vastly shortened lifespan, and they are in no way plentiful down here. Gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge, but hopefully the denizens of Blackreach will allow me to gather my samples unhindered. Oh. Dude. No, they're not going to leave you alone. Oh my. And as we saw. Oh. He was shot with a couple dwarven arrows, likely from the Falmer down here. Did I search this chest? I did not. Ooh, I bet somebody was yelling at their screen. Okay. Uh-oh. Something sees us. Somebody killed one over here. Where are we going? So we have to collect Crimson Nern Root while we're down here looking for the exit. Fantastic. Well, there's the road.
Oh, it's mysterious and creepy down here. I love it. I see a Charis Hunter. We have three Crimson Nairn Root. We need 30. Where's it going? Ah, uh, it's coming back. Is it going to see us? Oh! Hey guys, you going to help me at all? Oh, I'm dead. Somebody up there? Oh, well. That's nice, but I can't get up there. <laughs> All right, where do we need to go now? Whoops. Oh, we're not even going the right way. Wait, that's where we came from, isn't it? be going to the right so we're gonna go this way where now or is it the same I 
I need to start going right. Charis! I'm gonna turn on my skill here. That was weird, he didn't attack me at all, and neither is this guy. There we go, now he attacked me. progress towards the goal. I think I just did a big circle. Yeah, I did. Okay. Good to know. Let's go up here this time. Oh, that's where I started out. What's this? We got five. This is an exit, I take it. You know, there might be gold somewhere in here. That is a way out. So that's good to know. And now we've got, aha, Falmer. Poor Helga. Ooh, fancy armor. situated here. We are farther away than ever. Somebody's up there. Oh no, this is somewhere else. Oh, here's another Falmer. I thought we'd been this way. Here, S. Oh, ow! Very impressive. Hey, you broke a nail. Oh, sorry. Too fighting. No, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Inigo, Inigo, wait. Oh. Yes, because otherwise, Inigo is going to kill. Lydia. 
Alright, let's try this again. Oh, they did get the guy who was up there. Serana did it. Or at least she contributed. Here he is. Your dead, dead for dishonor, but a coward. Didn't even. Okay. We're gonna save because nobody's trying to kill each other. What is that funny-smelling red plant you are carrying? City catacombs? Do we want to go in here? that did something helpful. until this fight is over. my goat alone. That's all I gotta say. Okay. You're not getting the best of me. 
Oh, they keep the strong ones to work as servants. That's that's sad. What kind of gear they got? Oh, he's got 25 gold. Huh. Okay. Oh, is she stronger now? Silent City Catacombs. Oh, is this where we were? Is that as far as it goes? Or did I go out the wrong door? No, it spit us out there. Okay, that was the end, I guess. pretty awesome but how do we get out of here I don't remember I think through here Okay. I guess that's not the exit. So that's where soul gems come from. Okay, here we go. We're back to Black Reach now. It was just a dungeon. Who's yelling? I think it's time to save. Okay. 
timer's going. I was just making sure. I don't think we're going to get out of here in time. I said that last episode. That's sad. Oh, I started to say we don't have any water here because um, they just bought the lot next door to us and have started clearing it and their excavator hit our water line. Ooh, this is a good sign. What? Oh, okay. Tower of Mazark. I wonder if the Elder Scroll feels starved of attention down here. I do not think many of the locals can read. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Good job. Right, we got a couple jazz bay. It's friggin' south, nice. I serve you. Still here. That's it. That's the last scroll. Come on, let's take it to Dexian. Yes! Yes! We did it! 
forking did it. Sing the Dova King song. We did it. A rousing round of Dova King. I love that song. It puts me in a good mood always. Problem. I think we may be in for some trouble. Oh, great. They're locked up and there's a dragon. Hey, it's the Dolma King song. I wanted to hear it. smart enough to hit the release. favorite thing that you say, Serana. I just want you to know that right now. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're not going to a Dwemer place, like, next, okay? We're not. Let's go here, we can sell stuff too. Oh, I forgot, it's the end of the episode. I have to end the episode now. Okay, I'm ending the episode at Fort Dongard. <laughs> This is the late one, everybody. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I sure did. And um, we got out of Blackreach in one episode. Yay! I didn't think that was going to happen. This is just going to have a lot of editing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, Please like and subscribe and hit that bell and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.